I want you to listen to these words I wrote many years ago. New life is formed. Pain's in the way. Ice starts to form, much to dismay. Also, new life is formed. Fate leads the way. Hate mellows out. Pain will decay. I wrote those words many years ago. It was kind of my goal for a while to try and get into making music. By no means am I a music producer or a singer by any, by any stretch of the imagination. But I write down some real stuff. Some might call that a poet. Some might call that an author. It doesn't matter what you call it. But I just call it a journal. Those lyrics are very opposite of each other, but very samely at the same time. And a big theme in my life is the duality of myself. Change and duality are normal parts of the human experience. It's going to happen, whether you accept it or not. You need to be prepared for that change. Those lyrics I've just read to you, they have a much different meaning to me now than when I wrote them. I wrote them in a really dark time, right? But there was still that change, that shift in tone. Because one side was in kind of a hopelessness, and then the other side was coming out the other side. That's the thing about life. You might feel like you're kicking goals sometimes, but not understand the full gravity of the situation. Those lyrics went through many changes, and I thought at the time when I completed the actual full thing, I thought I was doing really, really well. And then, you know, the world did its thing, did its rotations, its spins, you know, as it does. And mindsets fested and that sort of jazz, you know. Normal evolution of life, right? Change. <laughs> but that's the thing. I rolled with the punches throughout all that change. Good, bad or indifferent. I did. And now I can say I'm starting to get to a place that I can be proud of myself. And that's not humble brags or anything. That took a lot of work. You know? Bloody, sometimes you just gotta, you know, go out and get yourself a bloody, I don't know what you, you guys get as a treat or something, maybe, let's just let's keep it on brand because I'm an Australian, I don't know, go and get a meat pie from the servo or something, <laughs> I don't know, that's probably not a great treat, but hey, you might get a bit of food poisoning, who's to say, but, um, <laughs> but it's alright, you know, you, I think, I think you gotta be kind to yourself and you gotta be critical of yourself, it's about a balance. Life's all about the balance, and you got to just find what works for you. Because, you know, bad times don't last. They really don't. Even in the most scorched earth of situations, they might feel like it's the end of the world sometimes. But life comes back around. You just have to make sure that you don't do anything reckless, you know. Man, I sound like an old parent, jeez. <laughs> but I'm just telling you my experience, like... You have to make sure that you don't do things that are destructive. You have to do things that are positive. Not overly positive. I feel like today the world wants everyone to be overly positive and ignore the negative sometimes. I don't know. I kind of get that feeling. But, you know, you, you've got to approach it kind of level-headed. And you need time to breathe. You need time to just kick back and reflect. And it's important to also kick back and smile sometimes. Smile in the good, you know. Be grateful for what you have, and if you want something, work super hard to get it. Don't take a handout sort of thing. Work very hard for what you want, and you'll feel much better for it, you know. Also, on the same token as that, don't bloody burn yourself out to get there. It's all about balance. It's, it's like that song by Ocean Alley. It's all about confidence, baby. You know. <laughs> Look, you, you know yourself the best. I know myself the best. And try and find support any way that you can that's not destructive it might be a friend group it might be going to join a footy club or a church or something some sort of social aspect because that's very important i mean having friends on say discord or something like that's great it is but you need that human interaction i want you to try something if you're on your phone too much next time you go to the shops leave the phone in your pocket don't bring it out at all actually be present in the moment pay attention to the world around you See what people are about, because there's a whole world out there, you know? And you might run into the love of your life at the supermarket. You might even run into a good friend or something that you wouldn't have noticed because you're on your mobile. Be present in today and not focus on the past or 
you know, the distractions of life. Because there are many distractions. Everything's fighting for your attention. And it's best to give your attention to things that can benefit you and the people around you. It's best not to dwell on bad things. Anyways, I've had my piece. It's time for me to get out of here. But before I go, I'm going to be a bit cheeky and I'm going to ask something that I never typically ask. I mean, I have in the past, but this is a bit different, I, th I feel. I've made a Ko-Fi page. I'm not sure what I can offer for, say, a monthly subscription or anything like that. If you want to throw suggestions out, maybe get in contact with me on Twitter. That's probably, that's what the YouTubers do, correct? Very good. Um, because, look, I have 300 subscribers. I'm not even close to monetization just yet. And, you know, your brother Az has to eat too. Also, <laughs> by no means is this an obligation. If you can, you can. I don't want you to, to struggle or whatever. If you've got extra money that you want to throw to the Ko-Fi, you can donate it if you like. No pressure. Okay? But anyways, I'll continue smashing out these videos because, hey, they make me feel good and, you know, sometimes they hit and you guys really enjoy them. So, you know, bloody hell. Let's, um, this is no, this is no codependency though, 100%. This is just my thoughts and if you relate, you relate. If you don't, you don't. That's cool. That's just the game of life. But anyways, I'm getting out of here and I hope. I really hope that this message goes to someone who really needs to hear it because I know that when I was going through the thick and thin of it, I wish I had the, this advice and this knowledge that I've got now. So I will also encourage you to share this video with someone that might need to hear this. I understand that the internet, everyone is kind of out for the, the clicks and the views and I just asked <laughs> for a Ko-Fi. I just told you about my Ko-Fi. Anywho, I understand that's what the internet is, but deep down, I just want to connect with people. I really do. It's for you to decide if I'm being honest. You make the judgment call. Anyways, <laughs> for now, I'm really out of here. <laughs> Anywho, just be patient with life. Oh, I've done it again. Anywho, <laughs> I'm out of here for now. Just smile and... Th I'm, I'm terrible. I'm literally terrible. Look alive. You're on in five. Later, guys.